what we were trying to do are trying to understand what molecular pathways that could be relevant in breast cancer overall, but more importantly in inflammatory breast cancer, because there it's really a critical and met need because as we discussed, the overall survival is really low. So our laboratory at New York University uh, with um, Dr. Robert Schneider has done a lot of important uh, work with the mTOR, or the PI3K AKT mTOR pathway, which we now know is relevant in many disease types, including breast cancer. And our laboratory did show that the mTOR pathway is really important, even in inflammatory breast cancer in cell lines and xenograft models. Not only that, it's known for years um, and I think Dr. Larry Norton gave an excellent talk today at the Gianni uh, Bonatana Lecture Award, focusing and emphasizing on the importance of the tumor stroma and the stroma around, the normal tissue around the tumor, which plays a yin-yang together with the tumor and is responsible for the self-seeding concept, which is also captured in our study in many ways because we do see that there are tumor-activated macrophages, macrophages being important immune cells, if you will, that are uh, important in the tumor, around the tumor. And IBCs also express a whole lot of those tumor-activated macrophages, which then lead to activation of certain signaling molecules like the cytokines, which in turn also lead to an activation of the JAK-STAT signaling pathway. Our colleagues in Switzerland did show in a recent publication in Cancer Cell talking about how the PI3K AKT mTOR pathway and the JAK-STAT pathway are kind of intertwined. And in preclinical models in triple negative breast cancer, when you inhibit the PI3K AKT mTOR pathway, there's activation of the JAK-STAT pathway. So to understand all of this together, to further flesh out what we were already learning in our laboratory and in our translational experience in inflammatory breast cancer, we tried to capture on all this data to figure out what pathways are indeed really important and activated inflammatory breast cancer. We did find that in 97% of our tumor tissues, and we compared them to controls, which was reduction mammoplasty and normal breast cancer controls, and the surrounding tumor tissue of the patients who's uh, who had mastectomy for the inflammatory breast cancer, that the PI3K AKT mTOR pathway was really activated. And 97% of the patients who had the mTOR pathway activation also had the JAK-STAT pathway. They also had the interleukin-6, which was really activated and seen. And so was the CD163, which is a marker for tumor-activated or tumor-specific macrophages.